talk for a minute about one of the newest features of the XVS, and that's the frame memory system. Now we have an onboard SSD drive. That SSD drive can hold about 60,000 high def stills. We load from that SSD drive into working memory that becomes accessible to the operator at, from the control panel with the touch of a button. That working memory holds about 5,000 high def stills. On top of that, instead of eight frame memory outputs that the operator can use, we now have 20. That can be 10 video key pair assignments, that can be 20 backgrounds or outputs alone, and every one of those 20 outputs can have a looping, playing clip simultaneously for any iMag screens you have at concerts or anything else, and they just play and play and play until you tell them to do something else. One of the other uh, nice things is the load. So if I'm looking at my structure and I want to load from the SSD drive, I go to File, Load, and my SSD drive can hold organized folders. So if I select, I'm going to load my wipes folder and I'm going to load that to memory. I'm taking everything that's in that folder and I'm loading it into my working RAM. So if I go to clip still and recall, I have my folders there. And below that, I also have stills that aren't in a folder that are in my root directory. And you can see now I have multiple levels of directory within those folders. So if I were to choose, say, 5 p.m. news, I can have clips and, and or stills that I have that I'm going to play in my 5 p.m. news. To organize those, I can go down to file and do a copy or move. And I can say I'm going to go to my 5 p.m. news and I'm going to put in a couple stills. And in from those 5 p.m. news stills, there's going to be sports. And now I can go back up to my, my working memory and I can go into the still folder and choose my sports stills that I want to then move down into that folder for the 5 p.m. news. So I can do the same thing with the 6 p.m. news. I can come down here and I have 6 p.m. news and I can create a new folder within that that was say traffic and I'll say yes. And now I've created another folder within the 6 p.m. news folders and traffic and then I could say uh, move some stills down to that from any of my folders up on top of the uh, system. So you can see any organization we can take care of, and we can unload and reload those stills back to this uh, SSD drive at will. Now that we've organized all the stills on the frame memory system, how do we get them in there? There's two ways, two main ways. One is this frame memory system has two inputs, frame memory source one, frame memory source two. Come up to my aux panel, choose frame memory source one. I can choose any video coming to the switcher as a source. Frame memory source two, same thing. Why are there two? I can actually, when I grab, put them in a pair mode and video key mode, and my video will grab on frame memory source one. The key signal that's associated with that will go to frame memory source two. I can, uh, I can route and record clips the same way. Let's go in here for now that I've routed a tape machine to frame memory source one. Go to my frame memory menu, go to the record menu, go to the folder I want it to go to, the temp folder, and put it in through mode, and I'm going to grab a frame. You can see there, it gives me that frame. No thumbnail yet. It doesn't know wh where I want to put it. I now have the choice to leave it in the working RAM or make it go right to the uh, SSD drive. I'm going to say go to the SSD drive, and it gives me the thumbnail and goes. It's also loaded into frame memory 19 now. So if I were to take a quick look, that's the still I just grabbed from frame memory 19. The second way we can do is to import. From my USB drive, I can go to the file menu all and import export. Here's my removable drive and I can go to any file that I have on that removable drive and I can say I'm going to go to the CD one here. I have four formats we can import, TIFF, BIP, TARGA and PING formats. This happens to be a, a TIFF so we'll do that. There's my six box. If I come over to storage, again I can choose the storage where I want to go to. We look at that little triangle, that's telling me there's actually subfolders there. So if I were to hit storage from the root and I went into the, my temp file, there's what's in my temp file and I could hit import and import my six box TIFF file and it's converting the file and loading it into the temp file. Now I can go back to my frame memory menu, go to file, load, and my temp folder, there's the six box. I'm gonna hit select choose the six box and load it to my working memory. 